this month, the Trump administration okayed new offshore oil and gas drilling in the Atlantic, including waters off the Delaware coastline. Dr. Gerald Kaufman is director of the Water Resources Center at the University of Delaware, and he joins me now to talk about the decision and its potential fallout. Jerry, so good to have you here. Yeah, good morning. Uh, nice to be here on such a cold, wintry day. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Governor John Carney has said, and he's spoken out against this proposal that he says it's going to threaten the economic and environmental well-being of the state. Are the concerns largely about um, the drilling itself or about the possibility of a spill? Mm -hmm. I think it's both and uh, we can look at the uh, past history where this has happened in the United States. Uh, 1969, the Santa Barbara oil spill, mm -hmm. that covered 800 square miles of the ocean and it largely led to the passage of the environmental acts like the Clean Water Act. Uh, 800 miles, that's about a quarter of the size of the state of Delaware. Wow. And then we have the oil tanker, sp tanker spills that occurred in the Delaware River and Bay. Those are concerns. But that's only if a spill happens. Only if and, um, and um, probably when a mm -hmm. spill. This is not a zero uh, tolerance type of operation. And so even though the, the drilling would happen, you know, so far off the coast, mm -hmm. we would still feel that impact. There's always the possibility um, uh, until we have better technology. Uh, the, the drilling would happen far off the coast in federal waters, dozens of miles where the oil and gas is. Mm -hmm. Has the governor reached out to UD or, or spoken to you all mm -hmm. about um, sort of the impacts of this proposal, this plan? Not me personally at my office. Uh, I Im imagine that'll occur as this thing go keeps going. Uh, the state geologist has a, they've done exploration uh, mm -hmm. when during the energy crisis in the 70s and 80s. So. Mm -hmm. The University of Delaware has um, a large, long history in this type of uh, proposal. And so can you kind of brief us on, on what, was, what was discovered in that exploration in the 70s mm -hmm. and 80s? Yeah, I'm aware of it because uh, I'm in the water business mm -hmm. and um, I also have a degree in marine science and policy, so this is my area. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the Delaware Geological Survey has done exploration off the coast. During the Carter and the Reagan administration, there were a lot of drill, oil wells drilled 80 miles off the coast on the outer continental shelf down to three miles. Mm -hmm. And there is like 800 bar barrels of oil mm -hmm. per day in those locations. Uh, there's a little bit of gas. Um, and so there is a potential. Mm -hmm. But the, uh, the state passed a law in, 19, um, in, in uh, the 1970s when Governor Peterson was the governor that regulated this type of thing. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, it really hasn't been discussed much since. Now it's back, it's, it's bubbled up to the surface. So would this, given however many barrels of oil are there, mm -hmm. um, would this make the U.S. energy energy dominant as mm -hmm. it's been touted? Well, um, I think the, the United States of America is energy self-sufficient now. The, uh, the Department of Energy's uh, Energy Information Administration, for instance, uh, forecasts that we have, we're going to have a surplus in oil and natural gas in the United States on land. Mm -hmm. uh, that's from new technology like ho uh, horizontal drilling, mm -hmm and hydraulic fracturing. So uh, I believe we are the, the largest producer of natural gas in the world now. We, we passed Russia just a few years ago. So given that, mm -hmm. does it justify for you one way or the other whether we should even be doing, if this is worth it for just 800 barrels or however many barrels is, is out there off the coast? Yeah, wh wh however many there are. Um, it's not worth it right now. Mm -hmm. uh, the oil and gas will be there forever. Uh, it's a, a non-renewable resource. Uh, it was produced uh, eons ago. And if the United States should ever need those offshore reserves, uh, it's going to be there. Sea level rise, obviously a big concern for us mm -hmm. in Delaware, given we're a low-lying state. Um, so what type of impact? Would, the, would there be an impact from the offshore drilling on sea level rise? Mm -hmm. uh, not, not, not directly, but it's sort of related to the history of the Outer Continental Shelf. The seas have been rising mm -hmm. for 12,000 years. And so this, this outer continental shelf is a very interesting place uh, because of the commercial fisheries that are there. The very place where they want to drill, which is the uh, Baltimore Canyon, mm -hmm. which is that canyon that's produced by the Delaware River flowing out and eroding away over time. Um, it's also the lar large commercial fishery where the commercial tuna fishing fleet goes and that type of thing. Um, the rising seas are more directly related to the coast if such an operation were ever approved, there might be like ports and terminals mm -hmm. where you'd be concerned about flooding of the, uh, the docks and things like that. Okay, so Attorney General Matt Den threatened legal action 
against the plan mm -hmm. if it moves forward. Um, are there similarities between Delaware and Florida where you think Delaware has a, a chance or a better chance to be exempt? Mm -hmm. Well, I also do economics, mm -hmm. I study economics. <laughs> You're I, a jack of all trades. Well, <laughs> ecological economics right. is something that we do at the Water Resources Center. And uh, Florida has a fantastic coastal economy. Uh, NOAA and other federal agencies actually produce the economic data to say that. Mm -hmm. Delaware, we have 30 miles of coastline, and our coastline, uh, based on a study done by the University of Delaware, mm -hmm. our College of Earth, Ocean, and Environment, uh, estimates that it's seven billion dollar economy. Mm -hmm. So if you take pound for pound, or dollar per coastline, mm -hmm. our coastline in the Del in Delaware is more valuable than any coastline in the United States. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. So, Governor, real quick, Governor Carney invited U.S. Interior Secretary Zinke to come to Delaware to see for himself why Delaware should be exempt mm -hmm. from this plan. Do you see that visit happening? I think it's always good to visit the, um, the locations that you're discussing, see it firsthand, take a boat out there, see Rehoboth, see why it's called the Summer White House, mm -hmm. and, um, and see how valuable our coastline really, really is. Okay, UD's Gerald Kaufman, thank mm -hmm. you so much for your time and your insight today. You're welcome, Shirley.